Hi, everybody. It's Vicki Lee. If you like my speaking, please like, share, and subscribe. Well, we are on part 13, Jesus Understands Your Suffering. Why would I go this far? Because we need to relate to Jesus as God in the flesh who came to this earth and suffered things we can only imagine. I don't know. I None of us will ever go through what he did in totality. So when we are here and we say, Jesus, I'm going through these things and you're up there and I'm down here and you just don't understand. Jesus is on the right hand of the father. He hears you. And if you listen to his Holy Spirit, you'll hear his Holy Spirit say, I understand. I see your suffering and I understand. So we're going to stay in Matthew 26, we are going to go to verse 57 because Jesus has been in the Garden of Gethsemane. He has been under duress as he has prayed and said, Father, if there's any way that this cup could be passed from me, but not my will, but thine be done. He's pled with his men to stay awake and pray with him, but they're tired and they're sleeping. And now he's been arrested and the betrayal of one of his own men has come to the surface. Judas has come up and with a kiss, he has betrayed him. Have you ever been betrayed with a kiss? Perhaps you know that. Let's go to verse 57. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. But Peter followed him at a distance, right up to the courtyard of the high priest. He entered and sat down with the guards to see the outcome. The chief priests in the whole Sanhedrin were looking for false evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death, but they did not find any, although many false witnesses came forward. Finally, two came forward and declared, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Then the high priest stood up and said to Jesus, are you not going to answer? What is the testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent. The high priest said to him, I charge you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the son of God. You have said so, Jesus replied. But I say to all of you from now on, you will see the son of man sitting at the right hand of the mighty one and coming on the clouds of heaven. Isn't it funny how in the present moment, Jesus refers to the future. He's always taking us beyond where we are into what's coming to grow us, perhaps to pull them out of their hypocrisy and evil into the big picture. Then the high priest tore his clothes. Now that's a drama king, isn't it? He's tearing his clothes and said, he has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Look now, you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? He is worthy of death, they answered. Then they spit in his face and struck him with their fists. Others slapped him and said, prophesy to us, Messiah, who hit you? So he's the physical abuse has started. Now, Peter was sitting out in the courtyard and a servant girl came to him and said, you were also were with Jesus of Galilee, but he denied it before them all. I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Then he went out of the gateway where another servant girl saw him and said to the people there, this fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again with an oath. I don't know the man. So he's swearing now. After a little while, those standing there with up, went up to Peter and said, surely you're one of them. Your accent gives you away. Then he began to call down curses and he swore to them, I don't know the man. Immediately a rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken to him before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. It started. The pressure has mounted. Jesus begged them, look, your spirit is strong but the flesh is weak. You need to really strengthen yourself for this time. False witnesses taking him in the dark, plotting against him 30 pieces of silver. 
accusing him of blasphemy as he tells them the truth, knowing the Messiah was going to be born in Bethlehem. And he was knowing the day the Messiah was supposed to come prophetically and proclaim himself the King of Kings. And Jesus Christ rode into Jerusalem on that exact day at that exact appointed time. These religious leaders knew they were responsible to know, but they were not going to call the Messiah, the Messiah. You are listening to the sound of my voice. Are you willing to call the Messiah, the Messiah? Or do you want to bear false witness against the King of Kings and Lord of Lords? Do you want to bring lies to the table? Do you want to listen to the lies still being brought to the table against Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Messiah for all time? Be careful. These religious leaders did not take care for their eternal heritage, and they spat in the face of God in the flesh. And they hit him with their fists and they slapped him and they mocked him. And Jesus paid it all. And he suffered that abuse for you and for me to redeem us all. And as he went through that, he knows that his own follower is denying any association with him. But don't be too hard on Peter because Peter is going to be the apostle Peter who goes out and forms the church age. Nobody could truly understand God in the flesh. But we have his word the Bible. We have the work that he did for us. We have salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. And we have the mind of Christ, the Holy Scriptures available to us in the free parts of the world. Come to Jesus Christ. Believe on him. Get in his word and let it change you from the inside so that you can be as wonderful and as righteous and is strong under pressure as Jesus Christ was at that time. The religious leaders today can conspire in the end times, the last seven years on earth, which we are coming so close to. There's going to be a one world religious leader that is not good and he conspires and it's nothing but trouble. And that is going to be judged along with all the other dysfunctions that the religious elite who choose not to follow the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit will conspire and do even today. Jesus made a way for us all. I hope this helps everybody. I hope this helps you see Jesus Christ as a suffering person on this earth. God in the flesh, in human form, who suffered it all. If you like my speaking, please like, share, and subscribe. 